Hello everybody, I am Sheen and welcome back to the Blind Treasure Hunter. Guys, I'm back out here at the river. It's a little higher than the last time I was here. It's about a foot higher, but that's okay. I'll still get out here and see what I can find. Guys, I got my Garrett AT Pro here with me. Hopefully I'm getting that in the camera. Yeah, if you haven't been here before guys, yes I am completely blind and I get out here by myself and I treasure hunt and I enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you on the first good target. I found a penny, but it's so rough feeling. I can't tell if it's a copper or memorial or possibly a wheat penny. That's super cool. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'll see you on the next wet target. I think this might be a drawer pull. That's a nice piece of brass right there. What do you guys think? Is that a drawer pull? All right, I'll keep swinging. See what else I can find. Well, this is a pretty interesting key. It has teeth on both sides. I have no idea what kind of key that would have been. That's super cool though. Uh, all right, everybody. I'll see you on the next wet target. I got on to my first fishing lure. This is a nitty one. It's a little fishing spoon. That is pretty cool. I like finding these ones. Has a little fin on the back. All right, everybody. I'll keep swinging in this wonderful water and see what else I can find. There's a nice fishing spoon. I don't know if it has any color left on it, but it's a nice big one. Somebody was trying to catch something pretty big with that one. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'll keep swinging and see what else I can find. I found an old pocket knife. It's in rough shape, but what do you expect for finding it in the river? All right, everybody. I'll keep swinging and see what else I can find. Look at all those split shot sinkers. That's a lot of sinkers on one line. <laughs> That's pretty neat. All right, everybody, I'll keep swinging, see what else I can find. There's a nice big sinker. It has a number on it, so I'm not sure what the number is, but yeah, it's a nice big sinker right there. All right, everybody, I'll keep swinging, see what else I can find. There's another nice fishing spoon. It's another nitty one, has a little fin on the back. I say the paint's probably wore off on that side. Yeah, that's sweet. All right, guys, I'll keep swinging. See what else I can find. There's a nice fishing lure, and I believe that is a cast master. The hook's gone, but eh, it's still reusable. All right, everybody, I'll keep swinging. See what else I can find. There's an inline spinner. It has a nice treble hook on it. Awesome. No idea what kind it is, but I know it's an inline spinner. All right. I'll keep swinging, guys, and see what else I can find. Look at those two big chunks of lead. Those must have came from a car weight or something. That's a big chunks of lead there. All right, guys. I'll keep swinging. See what else I can find. I just found all this lead and I think they're tire weights. I found them along this rock here. I was just finding them with my pinpointer. Got one here at AT Pro over here somewhere. 
all right everybody i'll keep swinging see what else i can find well check out that spoon boy that's a big long one i don't know what that would have been used for but that's a pretty cool spoon that is pretty neat all right guys i'll keep swinging see what else i can find there's a cool homemade sinker it's a flattened piece of lead that somebody put a hole in the middle that's pretty cool that could have possibly been a little musket ball all right everybody i'll see you on the next target is this possibly a lead ingot i'm not sure it's definitely a piece of lead but it just feels neat and guys i'm down here swinging in this bedrock and this wasn't a crack of a rock down there somewhere <laughs> All right, everybody, I'll keep swinging, see what else I can find. Holy cow, look at the size of that tire weight. That had to have come off a tractor and trailer tire. That thing is huge. Boy, I'm finding a lot of lead today, a lot of tire weights. All right, everybody, I'll keep swinging, see what else I can find. Check out that cool toy truck. That is pretty old. Whoops. I'm guessing that's probably... 30s or 40s 50s i don't know <laughs> that's cool all right everybody i'll see you on the next target Okay, everybody, here is the wrap up. You know, as usual, I love metal detecting in the water, and this was a river hunt. So I didn't find as many fish and lures as I usually find, but I did find 18 of them. So that's pretty cool. Different little variety of them. And then we'll start up here at the lead. There's a bunch of lead sinkers up there. There's a couple of coal sinkers. That's I like finding these sinkers. Those are neat. There's an older style sinker. There's two of them. And there was three homemade ones. One, two, three. And that one there is pretty neat. It's like a smashed piece of lid with a hole in it. You know what? I don't know if that's a square hole or a round hole. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, here's some. Um, there, oh, that was a pocket knife. A nice old pocket knife. There's some mystery pieces. I'm not sure what that piece was. That might have been a, I'm not sure what that thing was either. A couple other mystery pieces. No idea. No idea. Get my fingers out of the way so my wife can record. <laughs> uh, this really cool spoon, that is a long spoon. So is that possibly a spoon from an ice cream stand? Like a Sunday spoon? What do you guys think? Definitely feels old. That's pretty neat though. Uh, oh, all these big chunks of car tire weights. Look at all that guy. That's a lot of tire weights. That's a lot of lead. And let's see. We'll move. Where are we at now? Oh, oh there was this interesting piece. I don't know what that is, guys. I don't know if that's pretty heavy. I don't know if it's lead or brass. It's definitely a pretty interesting piece. And let's move. There's a brass drawer pull couple coins look at the pile of zinc pennies here look at that zinc penny like corroded and guys I did end up finding a wheat penny and it's a 1933 that's awesome wheat penny in the river and give it a little feel here what we, oh there's that lead I don't know guys is that a lead ingot or what just a chunk of lead I'm not sure I've never felt a lead ingot before so I'm not sure if that's what that is and this really cool toy car. I don't know what you guys think. Is that from the 30s, 40s, 50s? That's definitely pretty cool. All right, I believe that is everything. Oh, I think I forgot it all. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for the continued support. And remember to keep happy. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.